What up, y'all? It's your girl, Janika. Nika! Come with me. I'm about to show y'all how I do my lash. I know, I know. The 24mm is popping, baby. But right now, we are going with the simple lash, the number 300. All right, I got my pink curl clips, and I am going to clip my hair back like such. And I am going to put the bonded on so those loose hairs doesn't get in the way like such. All right, got that in, uh huh? I want to try to see those lashes another another way because I don't really think you guys really saw them. See, they're very light. They're very simple. And I believe the more simple they are, the more light they are, the more natural it looks. I have my eyelash brushes. I'm just going to brush through them really quick. I already cleaned them off. So now I'm just brushing them through so those wild little lashes doesn't get in my way. Now I have the tape that I am going to use. And I forgot the name of this tape. However, you can get it at any Rite Aid or in any first aid kit. But I like this tape because it doesn't slip over time other tape that i have used um it slips because my skin is oily but this this tape sticks pretty well and when I say it sticks pretty good, it sticks really good. So now I am going to treat these like a trio and cut them into three sections. I am going to use the 91% alcohol to sanitize the scissors. Okay, this is the eyelash glue that I will be using. And I don't like to use the eyelash glue that, like, with that really strong odor. Because once you stick that on, it is on. There is no going back. You cannot take them off after you use that glue. Oh, snap. I'm doing the wrong eye. <laughs> oh, my Lord Jesus. Take the wheel. I'm doing the wrong eye. Duh, that I ain't even taped up. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> Bear with me. Bear with me. Okay, so I apply the eyelash glue to the top of the uh, strip lash. And now I'm just going to apply it underneath my eyelashes. And you want to be careful not to place it directly on the mybamian part of the eyelid because it can be very very extremely uncomfortable on top of that you might develop an infection or it might be so irritated that you're not going to be able to wear the lashes for as long as you would like okay so I applied that first lash and who that is that's burning oh yes so I'm just gonna fan that out Cause hunty, I couldn't deal. 
And I normally just fan it out just for a couple seconds. It really doesn't take long for this glue to dry. And that's why I like using this glue because it doesn't take long for it to dry. And on top of that, when I'm ready to soak them off and take them off, they just peel right off. Oh yeah, I picked up this small fan at Dollar Tree and it works wonders. I have been using it for a while now, especially when I am applying my lashes. And now I'm just going to comb out that first little strip that I applied. And I'm going to do that every time because I want to make sure that no, no wild lash is laying in an awkward position and it get caught inside of the glue and then makes my eye itch. It'll make it feel like it's something in your eye. So I'll comb out the, well, my lashes um, to make sure that no wild lash is caught inside the glue. I am going to leave the fan on here for longer than usual because I applied a little bit more glue than I did on the other part of the lash. So I am going to hold the fan there for a little while until the glue is completely dry. Now I'm just going to remove the tape and this is the end result. I like them to look more natural than the look of, I guess, heavy lashes. Um, they're pretty and all, but I just, I like for mine to look a bit more... I guess natural. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs>
Okay, so now I'm doing this eye. And I just reuse the same tape that I used for the other eye for the next eye. And I just add one more piece of tape to just pull that, just to pull the other eye, uh, lift it a little bit more. That's like, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. I have a bit of glue on my eyelash and I really do not want that to be caught inside the glue that I glue my eyelashes to because that is going to be really irritating. Uh, it'll feel like it's something in my eye, but it'll be a lash that's laying flat and it's glued down. So yeah, that's what I'm doing is taking that excess glue off my eyelid. I don't know. I think I'm mixed up. I think I got my little trio bits mixed up because, okay, yeah, okay, I'm mixed up. <laughs> I didn't know uh, which was the end and which one was the middle, but uh, I figured it out. She's making me feel like, ooh, ooh. 
Okay, so now that they are all applied, I am going to brush through them just so I can get my lashes, um, I guess, untangled. If there is any glue in them, I can just comb it right on out. very natural and I, I like for them to look sometimes wild and like or uneven or sometimes a little a small gap but there she is Ooh, they in trouble baby I got the Dory Explorer on now <laughs> but this is how I apply my lashes and oh I use a eyelash curl curler as well just to make sure there's no flat area in the lashes so that they all are curled up. I had to turn out the lights so that I could see some of the indentation in my lashes where some of them were too flat. And this is the technique that I use when I apply them. Deuce. Bye. Touching, no, it's okay. Ooh, ooh.